stable at step three. Hi, I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Hassan. I work with the 301st Rescue Squadron here at Patrick Air Force Base. I've been working in support of the launch mission for about 20 years now. What we do in, in order to prepare for a manned space flight mission like the space shuttle is, is we'll have up to four helicopters and up to three AC 130s involved in support of various rescue scenarios that might be anywhere from the crew having to egress the vehicle on the pad or to a post launch or pre landing scenario. Which Hundreds of miles away, far up in the Well, that's what we get to do is we we get to you know actually be a part of the mission. It's really fun being able to not just uh, watch it happen, but to help make it happen. And then once once we do our job, we get all the boats out of the way, take care of whatever safety security scenarios that, that might crop up, and, and then we get a much closer. Position to watch it from, and it's, it's just you know really feels good pride to uh, be part of the unit. It's, it's part of a, a great big mission, and and it's it's interesting. A lot of this stuff that, that we use on the aircraft come from payloads that we put into space right here. The, the GPS that we navigate with, we uh, we've been launching those here for the last 20 years. Having a more upgraded version of those, the, we've launched the, the fourth and fifth modern communication satellites, which will be going in our new 10, uh, radio suites to give us eight, something seven, akin to having six, smartphone five, service anywhere four, in the world. Three, two, one. We have RD-180 ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the 11th GPS 2F satellite. United States Air Force. The global positioning system provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for military and civilian users.